Kia ora, it's Ruth here in my backyard in Christchurch. I'm in my glass house currently and today is going to be all about tomatoes. Now for the last probably 16 or so weeks I've been a bit AWOL, not much gardening has happened and the weather has been crazy. Even this week we had minus two a couple of days ago, now it's been too hot to get anything done until the evening. But this is spring for you in New Zealand. Spring is pretty crazy. But I've seen lots of things, especially in the Christchurch groups, about tomatoes. Is it okay to plant them outside? What is everyone doing? So I thought as I'm doing some tomatoes today, I'd give you a little bit of an update of where I'm at. So the first thing is, do not plant them outside. I've got some places ready for tomatoes, which is going to be over here. Which I've been prepping the ground, I've got some rotted sheep manure and some blood and bone and everything in there and it's just going pretty well. But do not plant them outside, it is way too cold, even though today it has been super hot, it lulls you into a false sense of security because actually normally kind of for the north of New Zealand it is um, labour weekend, which is about four, four weekends away. For Christchurch it's more like Canterbury anniversary weekend, which is another two weekends after that, or three. I might get impatient and plant them early, but I've started planting them here in my glass house. Which even for this is a bit of a commitment, it is a bit early. A couple of nights ago I had them inside for two nights because it was minus two as I said in here and tomatoes don't like that. But I've kind of got my head of this is what I should be doing, my pff, we'll just give it a go so we'll see. But this is where I'm at with my tomatoes. So the biggest thing is transplant, transplant, transplant. If you're going from seed or if you're buying small seedlings, give them more space and I'll give you an example right now. These ones, as you can see, I planted on the 7th of the 8th and they're pretty good size. What I then did is I transplanted them and when I transplant them, I transplant all of this under the ground. So you've just got the front or top two leaves showing. Now I did that last weekend and look at these tomatoes. These are a different one, these are Karens but they all started the same size and I planted them down, they're this big. These ones I did a couple of days ago and these ones here are ready to transplant. So I'll just show you quickly how I transplant them into pots. The first thing to do is I only put a little bit of soil at the bottom because this is what the roots are going to go on and then I'm going to plant them deep. So let's see. Okay, I just actually changed the soil because I realised it was a bit drier after sitting here all day. Ended up being about 40 degrees at one point because I didn't have everything open. It's now open. So you can see it's only got about that much soil in for the base. Then what I'm going to do is grab my tomato seedlings and I've already soaked these. If you can see down below there's a funny coloured water. It's water that's got some seaweed tonic in there so these guys have had a really good soak. I will squeeze the base. See some water coming out and gently lift them out. So as you can see there are three tomatoes in here and I don't want all three. These two I'm actually going to plant straight in the ground because I'm a little bit impatient with wanting to get them in but I'm going to put this little dude in. So carefully tease apart and just plop them in there. Now as you can see only his leaves are coming above the ground and so what I'll be doing above the pot is just filling it up all the way because the rest of the stem, extra roots will grow. And the more roots means the more places it can get water when summer's hot and the stronger the plant will be. So there you have it. One ready tomato. The only thing left to do, put in the label so that I remember which type it is. So there you go, you can see how tiny it actually looks now after having quite a long stem. So what I'm going to do now is take this little dude and put it under here so it gets a really good water. And I really like watering like this because it soaks it all up from the bottom and it stays nice and moist. And you can see, yep, again, look how tiny this is, about that tall. We come back up here. These ones were about the same height and they were only transplanted last weekend. And they are now ready to go into the ground. So I'll show you around here. I already put a couple in. This is where you need to do what I do and not what I say. I started doing them this morning knowing that the best time to transplant anything is later afternoon to evening because the plants then go through the cool of the night before coming into the stress and the hot of the day. A rule of thumb I like to try and go by, again I'm not always very good at it, but if I need to have sunblock on, it's not a good time to transplant. If it's hot enough for the day, you can see how white I am, I have sunblock on a lot. 
don't transplant because the plants just don't like it either. So now that it is, it's about five o'clock, I'm going to be transplanting the rest of these tomatoes into the ground. So they get the cool of the overnight and the cool of the morning before they get the harsh heat of tomorrow. We've also just added in a watering system, which we're quite excited about. So I'll show you with um, one of the bigger ones. Again, how I plant them, it just makes them go deeper and deeper again. Let's see. Okay, now that I'm with one of my bigger plants, I've actually got my gloves on, and we're going to start by digging a really deep hole. By really deep, I want it so that only this top part of the tomato plant comes out. So let's start digging. So now what I can do with my plant is check that it's deep enough by putting it down. And these little leaves are just coming just above the soil, which is perfect because what I'm going to do now is put in a few little bits of, well, there's a couple of worms still in there, some worm castings from my worm farm. It's because tomatoes are really heavy feeders. So I'm going to put a bit down the bottom and I'm then going to put a little touch of blood and bone. And then I'm going to backfill with just a tiny bit of soil because I don't want the roots going straight onto this. I want it to be able to settle first and the plant to settle in. And then I can plant this straight on top. So again, I'm going to take out the label because I'm going to put this back in so I know which one it is. Give it a bit of a squeeze. And again, this one has been soaking in that water so that it's had a really good water today. Flip it upside down and you can see the roots have actually gone really well all the way around. I'll give them a little bit of a tease so that they have some growing space and then in the hole and then backfill and label. So we now have a tiny tomato plant. So I now have four in. Before I finish I want to get all of these ones in the ground as well so that they are ready to go for tomorrow. And then the last thing I'm going to do normally would be staking because when you transplant tomatoes you really want to stake them as young as possible because their roots don't like being disturbed. And here what I'm going to try and do is from the top down make some lines for them to climb up. We'll see how it goes. But what I am going to do is plant basil around the bottom. I have got country value basil, Mr. Fogarell's basil, gardenia basil and Yates basil. So I'm just going to take a little bit from each one and just scatter it around because basil and tomato are really good companion plants. They bring out the flavour in each other and I love using basil in cooking but also being able to let the basil go to flower a couple of them as well because the bees love it too. So basil's just an all round winner. Doesn't like the cold, same as tomatoes. Again could be a bit early but with all my packets of basil I will not use all of them. I'll just do a light scattering and I can always do some more later. So that's where I'm at with my tomatoes. I've had a really productive day in the garden so I look forward to showing you around a bit more later. But that is all for now. Let me know what you're doing with your tomatoes, whether you are going into winter and they're all done and you're bottling them and they're done, or whether you are just coming into, I've seen some pictures of on the North Island, they've already got tomatoes that are knee high and flowering. I just have to know that's not quite where I'm at and that's okay. We will get there. So thank you so much for watching. I'll have some more videos coming out a bit more regularly now and we will catch you next time. Kakite!